Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Speed Build Monday, everybody's favorite day of the week. Um, hopefully it's your favorite day of the week. Probably not though, it is Monday, so like, I get it, okay? Mondays suck because you're like, the weekend is over, I have to go back to work or school or whatever you do and I'm feeling yeah, not really because I don't have to do anything this Monday, but well, I do have to take Carly to get his shots, but that's not anything that, you know, I have to wake up early for. He has shots at 11.30 today. Um, which is, oh, I'm recording this the day of, which is very strange for me, but this weekend was filled with lots of shopping, um, which is also very strange for me because I don't do a lot of shopping. I like to shop, but I'm more of like an Amazon shopper. That's where it gets dangerous for me. That's where I like spend most of my money. Um, but today, or not today, yesterday, Sunday, I had to go shopping for my grad dress, uh, just something to wear under my, um cap and gown for graduation so I was lucky enough to find it pretty early on in the shopping trip um because that could have taken a long time but I was very happy in fact I got two of the same dress in different colors one is white and navy the other is white and pink I'm going to wear the white and navy one to to grad and then I'm just gonna have the white and pink one and then I bought some really cool uh white shoes to go with both dresses because why not right um anyway what am I building here I am there's this really long strange lot on in Newcrest. I'm still doing the Newcrest challenge, build Newcrest challenge by the way. Um, and so I thought that I would build a set of townhouses. Now I already built a townhouse, but that was one and that was because that was a really small lot. Um, I thought why not build two townhouses in case, you know, you have two sets of families that want to live together. Uh, yeah, because that could happen, you know, could be a thing. Um, so these are called the Soho townhouses, and the reason they're called that is because I modeled them off of townhouses that I have seen that are close to where my grandparents live. That whole, that whole area where they live is just townhouse, townhouse central, well they, well, they kind of do live in a townhouse. Um, actually they do live in a townhouse, it's just like, not your traditional townhouse, it's a, it's a one floor. Anyway, riveting story, I know. Um, so I've model it after that pretty similar and the whole thing about these uh townhouses is that they have a rooftop deck that you see there they also have these townhouses have a really big yard because it was a really long lot uh so normally townhouses don't have that kind of yard uh but i put it in there one of them gets a pool the other one gets like just a yard so that's fun um they are two bedrooms two bathrooms the one on the Oh, I keep changing the camera angle. The one on the right, no, the left right now that you see me in the back, it's the left in the front, it's the right, uh, is a, like, you have a teen room and a parent's room. And then the one on the uh, right or left, if you're looking from the front, has a toddler room, I think it is. I can't remember. I built, I built this quite a long time ago. And by quite a long time ago, I mean last week, but, like, that's a long time to remember everything. Um, so the... The top there doesn't stay like that because the stairs are a little wonky in the second townhouse. So I decide to... Basically, the townhouses are very similar in design. They're the same. The only difference is the actual like interior design as far as like color schemes and things goes. But as far as the floor plan, they're pretty, pretty dang similar. So... I just actually, in fact, I copy and pasted it because I wanted the same kitchen because I spent a lot of time on one kitchen and I didn't want to have to spend the same amount of time on the other kitchen. So I just copy and pasted the floor plan and just changed the color schemes and some of the uh, items and stuff. But other than that, they are very, very similar. I like them. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't need two of them, but I would like to have one of them. Um, yeah, so... Two, just because I thought, I thought about doing a townhouse and then I was like, I already did one. Maybe I'll do two on one lot and maybe that'll be a little different. I don't know. Hopefully you guys like it. I like it. The kitchen's my favorite part. Um, if you watched my speed reno last week on Friday, you saw that I did this fun kitchen thing for the apartment that I renovated and um, it turned out really nice. So I kind of did the same thing here. Um, but it's a little, a little different, but pretty, pretty similar. I think I use the same cabinets, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, like I said, <laughs> memory span is very short. So, yes, uh, the next, I think I only have three lots left in, in Newcrest for the Build Newcrest Challenge. It is 
I have a 30 by 20 lot, which is no problem to fill up, but then I have the two big lots. I have the 40 by 40 and the 50 by 40. So I want to build a mansion, but I like that's what I was going to do this week, but I didn't have any inspiration for it. So I was like, I don't know what to do. There's not a lot of like, I tried looking on the gallery for inspiration. I tried looking on Google for inspiration. And it just, I don't know, I couldn't find anything. Also, you see me struggle really hardcore with figuring out the rooms in the second one. I just end up changing the stairs and making them look the exact same to the ones in uh, in the, uh, what do you call it, in the other townhouse? What do you call it? Um, so yeah, that's what you see me here do. It's, it's, it's a real struggle. It's a real, real struggle. Um, and then I'm like, oh, screw it. I'm just going to do this because it's, oh no, I'm still trying to figure it out. Still trying to figure it out. That wouldn't have been so bad. But I don't have the stairs. That's why. Okay, I was like, that's not so bad. Why didn't I keep that? Didn't have the stairs. Got it. Good. Okay. Go. Um. Yeah, so I want to build a mansion on the 50 by 40 lot. But I'm just struggling to figure out how to do it exactly. And like, how... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to like... Ugh... I'm not good with big houses. I get bored with them. That's the problem. I get bored with doing them. So I just kind of give up halfway through decorating them. So it's definitely going to be like a three to four day process in order for me to decorate it fully and thoroughly with all like the knickknacks and things like that. So it is, it will be difficult. I just need to find a mansion that I enjoy. I think this is when I was running up the stairs to grab my dog because he was, I thought he was um, eating off like taking something off the counter he wasn't it was just my imagination um wasn't actually my imagination it was my brother who was eating in a different room but it sounded like it was coming from upstairs so yeah fun story anyway um mansion want to do it don't have the inspiration yet I kind I do have the inspiration that's a lie I have the inspiration I don't exactly have the floor plan laid out like I I know what I kind of want it to look like Um, and I know I want it to be kind of like this where it's modern, but not like everything's made out of glass modern. So I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to play around. I'll just have to start recording and see what comes out. And if I don't like it, then record something else. Um, it's going to be a process. I may quickly build something on the 30 by 20 lot just so I have something recorded in case the mansion doesn't like work out first try. So We'll see what happens, what comes out next week. I thought about doing another commercial lot, but I don't really have anything in mind to do. I could do a restaurant on the 40 by 40 lot, which is something I'm thinking about. Um, I could also do a spa, which is something I'm thinking about, but I'm more leaning towards the restaurant, if anything. So, I don't know. I'll have to... It's such a struggle. Um, I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to see what I want there. Um, because 40 by 40 is still a pretty big lot and I don't want to do two mansions. Um, so I may, I may end up doing a restaurant because that, that's something that I feel like people download and put in their games to go on dates and things like that. And I want to build like functioning lots that people actually thoroughly enjoy. So anyway, there was something that I always forget. Yes. Okay. So I was thinking about this on my off time as you do. Uh, when you play The Sims for a long period of time in your off time, all you think about is The Sims. So anyway, um, so I was thinking, I was like, God, there's something in the kitchen that I keep forgetting to put in. What is it? Every kitchen, I never put this in. The dishwasher. I never put in the dishwasher. I don't know why. I I have a dishwasher in my house. I I thoroughly enjoy having a dishwasher. I don't know why. I just always forget that dishwashers don't, like, they exist, but I think it's because they don't have... Or do they have their own? Do they have their own little section? I don't think they do. I think they come with like the microwaves and stuff. And I always forget to look for them. So all of my houses don't come equipped with dishwashers. Which you think in some of the more expensive ones they would. Like this. But they don't. So you guys can enjoy that. You can always put them in. I'm trying to do something here. I I don't remember what I actually end up doing. Oh that. That's right. Um, I wanted it to be. I don't know. It's funny because there's no bar. Maybe they have a bar outside. Do they have a bar outside? I can't remember. I can't remember for the life of me what they have. 
this uh, this is what happens, guys. If I build it more than two days ago, I don't remember what happens. It just it just how it goes. Um, so it's new for me. So I'm experiencing this with you. I do know I put a lot of those paintings, not those ones, the ones you just saw, the ones that I talked about all the time. And I put in all of my builds because it's, because I like them. They come with so many swatches and they're so pretty. Um, it is a toddler room. <laughs> See, I can remember some things. Um, and then there's like a teen, but it could be a girl's room. It, it Like, it's to your discretion, I suppose. Uh, it's fitted for both. I mean, it's just a single bed, so it's nothing, it's nothing too, too special because it is a townhouse, so it's not supposed to be, like, super big and super spacious. But I think it came with, with quite uh, the right amount of space. Like, not too much, but the kitchen nice. I make this kitchen red, which I'm a fan of. Um, I don't know. I just like the redness. It might be a little bit too much red. Like, maybe I should have changed the, uh, the top cupboards, but I think, I, I don't know. Again, your discretion, your discretion, your discretion, you can change it if you want to. Um, I like it. I, I probably would have, if I had taken a little bit more time to look at it, I probably would have changed it. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, how's life, guys? It's Monday. It's the start of a new week. Are you happy? I'm not. Well... I mean, I kind of am because I don't do anything on Mondays anymore, but it makes me kind of feel like a bum because I'm not doing anything. And like, I have that job that I talked about all throughout my other speed builds and speed renos, and it was, ugh, it's it's a thing. Um, so it was supposed to be after school care and day camps, but I got I got the job and they sent me a link to like where you could pick your like shifts and stuff, like you can request to work certain shifts. And the shifts were like 45 minutes. And I was like, what? What? Excuse me? That's not a long enough shift for anybody, uh, let alone someone who's out of college trying to, you know, make a good, decent amount of money. And so I'm assuming it's, it's day camps for the most part for us. At least we were hired for day camps, which means I don't really start until July, um, which is fine because I have a job. It just, it's not a lot of money. So I'm trying to find... A full-time permanent position, nine to five, the good old grind, um, or you know, eight to four, whatever they put me to. I don't really care. Uh, eight hours a day, five days a week, um, decent pay, benefits, all those things. Uh, but it's hard, and it's such a struggle. And I've applied for one because I'm qualified for one. You would think a bachelor's degree would do that, but no. And I knew that. I knew that that was a big thing in today's world is that a bachelor's degree really doesn't get you anywhere. So uh, have fun with that, kids who are not quite done, I don't know, high school. You think, yeah, I can get out and get a job. Actually, you know, you could probably get out and get a job in high school. And by the time you would have finished university, you could move your way up in a company. So I don't know. I think college is only right, like, College is only right for the certain type of people. <clears throat> and if you don't, if you feel like it's not right for you, then it's not right for you. Um, and people pressuring other people to go to college is really dumb because you're just going to end up wasting a bunch of money if you don't thoroughly enjoy it. So I enjoyed my college experience. I, I liked, I didn't like studying because I don't, it's not that I don't like studying. It's that I don't like the pressure of homework. Like they give me too much room to to procrastinate, which I did thoroughly throughout all of it. Um, and it's just like, here, you just did, uh, all week of school. How about have some stressful assignments to go with it or some, some tests to make your blood boil just so you can get nervous about how much you didn't study. So I didn't like that aspect of it, but I did enjoy going to school and I enjoyed meeting people. It was, it was fun. It was fine. I don't, um, it wasn't, I didn't have that like typical movie college experience where I like went away and, and went to a bunch of parties. I think I went to like two, two, three, maybe three parties. Um, and they weren't college parties. They were just parties with all walks of age groups. Um, so I wasn't, I'm not much of a party or cause first of all, getting downtown from where I am, where I used to live was a pain. Now it's near impossible. Um, we don't have Uber or anything like that. We use taxis and taxis suck. So good luck with that. Um, Skytrain stop at 1 a.m. 
so really not much to do um so I don't I don't go out very often uh well I go out I just don't go partying it's it's a lot of work it's too much work. It's like a two-day event because, you, you know, you drink and then you have a hangover. So it's, it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't see the point in it. Um, I just hang out with friends. I play video games. I was going to do two pools in, in the backyard. It's like one yard has a pool, but I did something different. I wanted it to be different. Um, just like me. I don't know, but, uh, I just, cause it's different families. Like it, one has a teen or a child, the other has a toddler, so a little bit different dyna- dynamic, so I made it a little bit, a uh, little bit more unique, tailored to each family, so yeah, anyway, no parties for me, college was fun, um, it is a lot of work, it's a lot of work no matter what college you go for, you're gonna have homework, they're gonna expect a lot out of you, you're gonna get crappy teachers, I got a lot of crappy teachers, I didn't get a lot, I got a few, but, um, it was fine. I had fun. I'm glad it's over, though, because I don't want to study anymore. So, not that I did. Um, but I don't want to be pressured into studying and feel guilty about procrastinating stuff. Uh, but I do feel guilty. And I don't even procrastinate. But I feel guilty because, I don't know, it's just weird when you get out of college, you're like, maybe I should be doing something. Anyway, I am, I got all my grades back, too. Got pretty good grades. Uh, got two, three B's and an A, so, you know, I'm not unhappy with them, um, I'm actually, let's be honest, I'm ecstatic about them, because those are pretty good grades, um, especially for me, so, I'm happy to be done, I wish someone would just hand me a job at this point, but, you know, that's life, so, anyway, for the fly-through this time, I am going to be talking over it, just because, uh, I'll explain that in the fly-through, though, because I don't have a lot of time, but anyway, we're going to go through the fly-through now, so enjoy my voice some more, guys. Okay, guys, so we're going to go through the fly-through now, and I'm going to come with you live. So here's the outside. Um, I think it turned out quite nice. It definitely does look like the apartments that I saw. Um, The reason I am doing a fly-through live with you guys is because I think it would have been a little hard to do the whole um, music in the background, fly-through shots, professional looking. Not really, because sometimes I mess them up and it frustrates me. But anyway would have been a little hard to do that, so I thought I'd take you through all of them. So this is the first up uh, townhouse that you see. You walk in these glass doors, very modern, and you come in, and it's pretty much everything. Uh, you have the living room here, dining room, and kitchen all in one go. Kind of how di- um, townhouses work because they're these big, open, long spaces. You have a computer desk and this beautiful kitchen, which I thoroughly enjoy. Um, lots of cupboard room, uh, lots of little knickknacks, make it your own. Uh, bar stools and stuff like that. Honestly, you could, if, if, if I had built like a third floor, you could fit a lot of Sims in here. Uh, so you come upstairs and you have, you can also change the rooms to twin rooms. So, uh, you come upstairs and it's just sort of this hallway. Ooh, I'll put a railing there because that needs to go there. Safety hazard. I would not pass inspection. Um, anyway, you have some toys in the hallway for the toddler And then you come over here, and it is the toddler's room, which I think turned out quite nice. I put a lot of effort into this. Um, It's big, so you could absolutely uh, take out this since you do have a bookshelf out there. But you could take out this, move the chair, and then put in another toddler bed if you wanted to. Um, There is a a bathroom here. Kind of tight squeeze, but definitely doable. Um, I just needed to fit that bathtub in there because, you know, gotta bathe the toddlers. Here is the master bedroom. Very nice. Honestly, you guys know how much I use this bed. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite. It is my favorite mirror. Hi, guys. You can't see me. Um, And then the master ensuite in here. And then you come up these beautiful stairs some more. Up here. Nope, not up there. Up here. And bam, you are on the roof. Rooftop. Gonna put some railings there because that is also a safety hazard. Uh, So, yeah, you got a barbecue, which you also have a barbecue down below. So, if you need two barbecues... Just a nice entertaining area, a place to use yoga, uh, kind of nice view. If you're like up here, I guess Sims would be like, what, here, I guess? Also very nice and private. You can't really see the other people unless you're out here, so that's quite nice. Anyway, let's go, oh, let's, let's go downstairs. Let's go all the way down, all the way down. And out these big doors come out to a nice uh, deck, uh, not really, kind of like a, 
I don't know, backyard, that is what it is, uh, with a pool, you have a pool and some nice gardening things, a chair to sit and watch the kids have fun, well, you don't, uh, you can kind of see your neighbors, but I mean, Sims, privacy, they don't go hand in hand, uh, they don't care, so you come out, and you walk down, and bam, you're at the other one, <laughs> so you come in, and it's very similar, just different color schemes, this one's obviously a very red pattern, um, same sort of setup though, living room, dining room, table, uh, kitchen, very nice kitchen, same knickknacks, all those things, all those things are great and, and handy, and I know I didn't put a railing up here, but I will, um, also as far as curtains, I didn't curtain, uh, these places very much because I thought the light would be much better, uh, natural light, always good. Uh, so here you have the same sort of design except you have a little bookshelf here and a little easel here and in here you have a girl's room, teenage or kid, doesn't really matter. Um, again, could take out the desk and put another bed in there if you had twins or you had two kids. Here is the uh, ensuite for this room which is quite nice to have, nice and handy. You know me, I need just as many bathrooms as I have bedrooms or at least pretty close. Here is the master ensuite. Uh, again, the bed, love it. I like this little thing too. Um, so yeah, lots of paintings, lots of design, uh, curtains, which is always nice. And here is the master ensuite. And then of course, just like the other house, which, ooh, I didn't even put railings on the stairs. Ugh, bad me. Um, upstairs is their rooftop patio, which is a little different, but pretty much same design. Chess tables, uh, barbecue, some sitting areas, game thing, and yoga mat. Because I feel like people would do yoga here. It seems sunny and bright and yoga-y. And then you come all the way down. Really wish they had those spiral stairs like they did in The Sims 3. Um, and then you have the outdoor patio area and then backyard. So you have a hot tub. I put some trees there for a little bit of privacy. And a barbecue and all these fun little toys and things. And that is pretty much it. Let's fly to the front. Get back here. And this is it, guys. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date on all this nonsense, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in my next video. So have a great day, guys. Bye.